SoCal, but like, they're, SoCal's so big that there's like a bunch of sub regions. And there's two battles between sub regions within SoCal. Yeah. But enough about that. We got game one Slayer versus Nitro. This is not a button check, they are going in. Yep, and of course, Nitro is going to utilize that, uh, that down tilt and get out of the corner there. Very common option there. Now using the down air and converting to a forward air. Taking his opportunity chance at the ledge hang. Oh, and these turnups are going to be such a terror for Nitro offstage. He's got to be really, really careful. Oh, See, man. Bunch of back air. airs. Oh, is that Mr. Saturn? Yep. Saturn is out. You know what's so funny? I love it when Saturn, like, hits someone and it's like, it makes this weird, like, honky noise. Like, oh. It's like so troll. <laughs> yeah, this back was cool. well, Even if he didn't die from it, like, I don't think he would have made it back. Yeah, just the angle that he was going at, really difficult for Belmont to recover from that. I, I actually wonder if Nitro practices a lot with uh, Raza. And I, I, I know for a fact that Nitro and Raza play each other in tourney at least, but I don't know if they're like training partners or not. But man, right now, Slayer is looking like he's been practicing on that Elite Smash. <laughs> And it seems he knows to be working. Belmont. Yeah, I, um, I don't know who it, like who trained like who trained the Slayers like offline, but he, he definitely looks comfortable with this matchup. Yeah, he even knows like from which exactly. from what angle to like he'll have to recover, and even when those axes are going to be a threat to take his stock, it it did take it there, <laughs> but uh, he he was looking really poised throughout the entire. First time. Yeah, Slayer totally knows this matchup gets hit by like four axes. Like, oh dang. Come on, man. <laughs> I mean, it, it can be hard for Peach, right? She, like like we said, she doesn't move really quick in the air. Um, I mean, her best option is to like stall out the axe and try and weave in through the gap. Yeah. But even that can be difficult. Ooh. You can cover gaps with other other projectiles. But what that was a really quick stock. What happened to that second stock, my man? What happened to it? It's. It's gone. It evaporated, dude. He took and it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nitro's still going. 61% already. Okay, well, I think that uh, Rosso does train with, uh, with Nitro. At least, uh, because I know the IE, they, they're a bunch of beans. They have uh, a lot of Smash Fest. Oh, Ooh, good snipe. Turn. Oh, he's got a bomb. Oh, he's got a bomb. Yo, he did 40 damage. Easy 40. And now he's got the Holy Water. Wait a minute. Oh, he caught. God. He like literally caught up with one item throw. I mean, that's that's just the RNG coming in clutch for our peach player players. Wait the axe though. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, also catching the turn up as well. Wow, Slayers starting to turn things up. I see the movement coming out, but the angled upward forward air. Oh, oh no! The day one, dude. Everyone. <laughs> he dropped his stocks to day one tech. Oh man, don't go into the holy water, everyone. <laughs> I mean, I know it's blue, it looks cool. It looks like, you know, the Lucario aura. Oh, I know how to patch this up. Really great conditioning from Nitro, you know, he, he did, oh, he was covered. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, right. like he was, he was like doing the, the thing and then and the other made thing. Him, yeah, and then it made him scared to like, made him so scared, boom, holy water. No, but you're right. I mean, there was good adjustment coming from Nitro. <laughs> He was mixing up the, the wall projectiles and just the rhythm in which he was throwing them. Which, uh, if you can't crack that code, you're just not going to get in. It's just, like, to me, if you feel like they're going to throw holy water, like, if you roll the same time they throw holy water, like, you actually have, to my understanding, you have frame damage. Like, you're, you should, like, get out of your roll by the time they're done throwing, like, the holy water, or, like, lagging. And then, like, even if they're standing there, right, and you roll on the stage, like, what are you going to get hit by that's going to kill you? You know what I'm saying? You're not going to get hit by any tipper moves, no, even if he did nothing. Right, right. I mean, I guess at that point, you could, like, expect the, uh, the Holy Cross to be thrown at you or on its way back. So, like, a, a Link Boomerang. Yeah. And that's, like, the only other thing I can see, like, set up into something, but, yeah. Just like general risk reward against going against like Belmont and all that That that's like what I'm thinking. O obviously, it's like way easier said than done, and right, like right. when you're on the hot seat, it's a lot different. I mean, because you also have to think about like the way that the 
the Belmont's been facing. If they if they're really utilizing like pivot tilts or pivot F mass, you if they read a roll, you know, one of those is definitely coming in your face. Oh yeah. We even see Nitro Wow, off the top, the down air into the upbeat. Nice conversion coming out from Nitro. I mean, that's like one of the sickest conversions in this game. Oh yeah. The dive kick into like sure you can so, like anything. Even like when I see like dive kick in like there or something, it's so cool. Yo, can you still dive kick the dive kick? Probably? Yo. Oh, Depending, that's I mean, oh. They probably have to DI like four but you can, uh, you can probably get it. That's, that's, that's gotta be a sick combo. Oh, again, hit with a holy cross. Well, when you, you know, in retrospect, that actually wasn't too bad because it sent him over stage. It, okay, but you lost the cross. Uh, but just getting hit by that holy cross put him center stage. If yeah. he was able to like reset himself, you know, it would have been, would not have been that bad. All right, so I'm not gonna get those turns. Like, looks like we got a stitch as well. Man, Nitro doing such a great job. At no oh, that's it. I mean, there was an unfortunate SD from Slayers, but I mean, even. Even if we're not like thinking about the SD, Nitro's just doing a really great job in this matchup, period. Like he's playing so well. Even look at look at the way that he's trapping Slayers on the left side of the stage. As soon as he connects the, the Holy Cross or a whip, he's bringing out the axe to cover the platform. The platform landing. Yeah. And whenever he gets cornered, you got you got down to Ooh, the drag down Nair. What a beautiful wave from Nitro into the rapid jab. And a shield pull possibly? There was, I don't know, I, I don't know if that was a shield card because it looked like he was getting hit by a Holy Fire at the end. Well, yeah. I, I oh, think you mean the Holy Fire shield card? Right, right, that's okay. what I'm thinking, yeah. Because the Holy Fire is like so low to the ground that I would assume it like pokes your feet, you know, as your shield's getting smaller. That's, that's true. I don't know. Right now, I think Nitro's just looking like Shikamaru. You know, he's just think, oh, out thinking his opponent and Damn. just putting him in these situations. Yeah, I mean, when, when you're playing that projectile character too, you always have to be those couple steps ahead in terms of like, the, like predicting where they're about to move because that you're trying to set up the next area because all these projectiles don't come out frame one they're not like instant you have to set up especially like the axe is a little slower too so you essentially have to like almost read slash set up which area they want to go to of course you're also reacting as well but for the most part yeah you're just kind of like taking a stab at where where you you think their next avenue of uh, approach is yeah, it also could be to the point where you're just like conditioning them to move a certain way. Exactly, yeah. And then With that's your when previous you projectile. Exactly, yes. The biggest of brains. You're just leading your opponent. Dang, man. I, I think that's the first dash attack we saw Nitro use this set. <laughs> I mean, he hasn't needed to use it. <laughs> yeah, very. Yeah. But Slayer's answering with the dash attack of his own, and another Holy Water into F Smash for Nitro. Oh, that's so far, and he used the Holy Water in disadvantage as well. He got hit up and was just like, yo, let me throw the, the water down. Yeah, make it rain. Yep. <laughs> make it rain like, uh, wait, oh, there's. Yeah, I, 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 I know there's a song that's like fire and rain, but I'm like, <laughs> next time, next time, next, next time, time, next time. Next time. I, I gotta do more research on like that song. On, on rain puns. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I was gonna try to go for it, but I was like, dang, I don't. I, the, the, the name of the song doesn't like even come to mind. But I know there's a song that's like fire and rain. I know there. And I know it's by Adele. I know. Oh, it. oh okay. Oh, uh, I, I know what song you're talking about. Yeah, you about. know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, up sma F Smash is going to connect for Slayers. You got the pad, too. Mm -hmm. I like that the they, that those F Smashes send at different angles now. So that if you can, you, being able to select them will actually make it, like, useful. <laughs> oh, wait, he got back! <laughs> Dude, that sounds ridiculous. <laughs> I, like, the turn of connected, I just laughed and I looked away, and then, like, he's, like, grabbing ledge. I was like, what? <laughs> Belmont, man. They're here to... Kick ass and slay vampires. Yeah, uh, I don't see any vampires. Yeah, I wish there was a vampire character. <laughs> wow, Dr it's it's crazy because Nitro has like these little tiny subtle fadebacks on his jumps, and they're actually saving him. It's pretty, really impressive. I mean, that's, that's just what the micro thing comes down to. Oh, able to weave around. <laughs> There's somebody, and he gets after it. Anyway. Where do you go? Where do you go, man? He just chucked him out. That's a princess. She has to be handled with care. Oh man, like these, these traps coming out from Nitro, it looks so difficult. And he, like, Slayers is even trying to not, you know, go into the Holy Fire and try to avoid it and all that. But like, Nitro's setting up so much traps past that as well. 
Yeah, even, I mean, getting sent across stage, almost losing his stock, but he had to burn his air dodge just to stop his momentum, but still retaining his stock, and that's at max rage. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, forward air, ordinary, one of the two moves, connecting here for Slayers. And even, like, even when Slayers wants to float high, you just see Nitro start chucking these axes, start chucking these, like, higher forward airs or up airs, and it looks so difficult for Slayers to find a sweet spot. Wait a minute. He has a jump. The Slayer's going to go hard for it. No. Goes for the uh, neutral B there. I wonder if the fair, like, fairing to the ledge actually, if you can, like, counter that. I wonder. Good question. Thinking emoji. Maybe, maybe. All right, but nonetheless, Slayer's trying to get back to the stage here. So many things to avoid. Gets the ledge here. Oh, nice. Peace Bomb are able to avoid both the axe and the Holy Cross. Now, back here to uh, retain stage control for Slayers. Oh, that was scary. The Where's the down to? Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, and again, it looks like the jump Peach Bomber is our ticket out, but is it, is it too little too late at this point, D-Fly? Oh, another back air is going to seal out the stock, and now we see Slayers, well, you know, brought the, brought the stocks even. And, of course, you know, just about every character in this, in this game has, like, high damage output. Oh, so yeah. to say that Slayers can bring it back is, is obvious. Right, and, I mean... I, I'm not too sure how consistent the uh, peak combos are. Ooh, good DI with the rage. Oh man, Nitro's just going for it. Oh, you can't. I don't know if you want to give Slayer. Oh, that's no double jump. That's that's dead. Yeah, you cannot overextend like that. Wait a minute. Okay, oh, okay. Right, 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 right. <laughs> this turn up to <laughs> chill, seal chill. the game. <laughs> chill, 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 chill. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but like, oh, Nitro. I just, I, I feel like after he missed that first up B, like he was just set in his mind. It's like, I, I, I need to get this hit. I need to get this hit. Mm -hmm. But you cannot, like with the Belmonts, especially on the receiving end, because you can get edge guarded so easily, if the stocks are even, like you can just die at any point. Oh, man. I know all about that. That's a, right, that's I a mean, rough life to live. Right, and that's like a Little Mac thing, a Belmont thing. Like that's stocks are even, even if you're just like a head by a landslide. One back throw by the ledge, into like some edge guard, into like a double jump read right there. I mean, we saw Slayers, right? He got he got his hits in, he got the double jump read, yep. then he got the turn up just for the insurance right there. And I feel like at this point, Slayers is starting to figure out the uh, Belmont ledge trapping. So this could actually look really scary in terms of just like a reverse 3 0 coming out from Slayers. But at this point, it is going to be Nitro's counter pick from here on out in this set. You're right. You're absolutely right. And that's that's what, that's what he gets rewarded for, right? You were you're up 2 0. The remainder of this set, it will be, even if it goes to game five, will be on all your counter picks. As you can see, I mean, we, he made great use of these platforms uh, earlier in the set. He was really good at, or Nitro was really good at conditioning Slayers to even uh, think about approaching or landing on these platforms. He has a projectile there to cover it. Yeah. And that's a, that's a very important aspect. It's a cross, though, coming back. Gotta watch that cross. That's probably one of the belt, like, that and Holy, Holy Water, just very, very strong setups in their own right. And the, the different parts of the stage. I mean, even right there, the Holy Cross covered Nitro's recovery because it actually uh, clashed with the turn up when Nitro was trying to get back to stage. The one thing I really like about the cross is, you know, most boomerangs, they'll come back at you, but the cross will come back, but like it stays on the same like height level. Right. So if you throw it on the ground and jump up on top of a platform, it'll come back, but it, it'll go across the ground. Like ground level, yeah. So that, that's it one just cool. Stays horizontal. It yeah. Never change trajectory. And I love that because you can set up so many cool like setups with that. Very. Uh, I think it's like the first like boomerang that's had like an effect like that. Oh, man, you should not be dying that move. Essentially, if you di down, like that move just should never kill. With the border, and like I said, man, you can't you can't give Slayers anything. You give him an inch, he's just gonna like take the stock, take the game, take the set even. Guys, he's got a few more stocks to take before, uh, <laughs> before Nitro starts sweating. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. <laughs> okay. And I mean, Slayers is even like not rushing it too. I even feel like in the neutral, I feel like he's got a pretty decent hold of what to do. I like that he's actually playing at a specific distance, especially when these like side platforms are out, that it's not allowing Nitro to set up his, his traps. Yeah. Man, I thought he was gonna like get a string in the two axes. I was just gonna 
Oh, what? Axe. That axe falls to the stage? Oh, dude. Oh. Nothing oh. stops the axe. Nothing. That's crazy. Look like, that. that went through the stage. <laughs> yeah, like, you can just, like, set up crazy two frames. That hitbox is huge. Okay, forward air and direction. Air dodge to the platform. Mike Slayer is not ready for it. Yeah. I mean, if, if he was there to punch with the forward air, that would have been an obvious stock. But, yeah, like you said, kind of fading back. Wasn't really ready for quite the commitment there. He's coming out. Holy cross. The ledge jump peach bomber man. Working wonders. It is. Okay, the down air actually bouncing off the shield is so so nice. Great PI coming out from Slayers. Gotta watch out for these axes though. Axes and holy crosses. I mean we're going back to the flow chart. Really oh, oh that was so close to hitting the turn up. Oh almost gets a snipe on that tether reel in. Both players sitting in field next to each other. You know they're both pressured. Wow. The Whoa, it killed cross stage. I mean, players had to have been dashing to the left. That was maybe that, but he was also at a pretty high percent. He was over 100%. Yeah, I'm away. I mean, forward air is kind of strong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But still, I mean, just insane, like, reversal coming out from Mike just being on the ledge. I don't even think he's really... Been, oh, man, he's doing so much damage right now. So even expecting the higher approach from Slayers. Oh, the tech chase. Oh, it doesn't get the tech roll away. Really good stuff from Nitro. Oh, there's that. Only the trigger on the up B. Yeah, and right there, Slayers just opting for the new trigger, but gets the ledge roll. The stocks are even. That's right. We saw it last game. But I... I don't, I don't see Nitro extending like he did last game, though, because he saw what happened. So I, I feel like he's definitely going to play it a lot more safe, so it's going to be a lot harder for Slayers to get that opening he got in the previous game, and just like that, talk about safety. Look at the distance. The tipper forward smash catching that land. Where's, uh, where's Nitro going? Uh, Doesn't he know that he just won? I mean, maybe... I don't know, maybe... Wants to get some water or something? I don't know. Oh. But he just sat down at a table. <laughs> oh. I don't know, man. I'm on the mic right now. I, I, can't, I don't know. I can't Go get him. him.